In today's video, we feature Pope St. Pius X, the first Pope elected in the 20th century. Pope St. Pius X was born Giuseppe Melchiore Sarto on June 2, 1835 in Ries, Lombardy Venetia, now part of Italy. He was the second of ten children. Growing up in a devout Catholic family, he displayed a strong affinity for the Church from a young age. His humble beginnings helped shape his lifelong commitment to simplicity and compassion. In 1858, Sato was ordained a priest, and his dedication to pastoral work earned him a reputation for his empathy, humility, and tireless efforts in service to his parishioners. His outstanding preaching skills and ability to connect with people made him a beloved figure in the community. Appointed Bishop of Mantova in 1884 and later Cardinal in 1893, Sato gained prominence for his steadfast defense of traditional Catholic values. He combated modernist tendencies and emphasized the importance of catechesis, encouraging a deeper understanding of the faith among the laity. In August 1903, Cardinal Sato was elected as Pope Pius X, succeeding Pope Leo XIII. Taking the name Pius after several popes known for their reformative efforts, he chose to be a pope of the people, with a strong focus on maintaining the purity of doctrine and addressing the challenges of the modern world. One of Pope Pius X's most notable contributions was his reform of the liturgy and the administration of the sacraments. In 1903, he issued the motu proprio, Trala Solicitudini, which called for a revival of Gregorian chant and a return to the authentic Roman liturgical tradition. He also encouraged frequent communion, advocating that even young children should receive the Eucharist. In his 1904 encyclical Ad Diem Illum, he views Mary in the context of restoring everything in Christ. He wrote, Spiritually we all are her children and she is the mother of us, therefore, she is to be revered like a mother. The good Pope added, through a spiritual and mystical fashion, all are children of Mary, and she is their mother, mother, spiritually, but truly mother of the members of Christ. Pope Pius X was also a staunch opponent of modernist ideologies that sought to reinterpret church teachings in light of contemporary thought. In 1907, he issued the encyclical, Persendi Dominici Gregus, condemning modernism as a dangerous heresy that undermined the foundations of the faith. He also established the anti-modernist oath to safeguard the orthodoxy of clergy and theologians. Deeply concerned about the social inequalities and injustices of his time, Pius X advocated for workers' rights and condemned exploitative labor practices. He emphasized the dignity of labor and the importance of just wages, setting the stage for later church teachings on social justice. During his papacy, Pope Pius X navigated delicate international relations, seeking to maintain the church's impartiality in conflicts while promoting peace. As World War I approached, he made efforts to prevent the escalation of hostilities, urging world leaders to consider the consequences of war on humanity. Throughout his papacy, Pope Pius X exemplified holiness and humility. He lived a simple and austere life, often declining the trappings of his office. His genuine concern for the spiritual well-being of individuals led to initiatives such as the codification of canon law and the encouragement of frequent confession. Pope Pius X's papacy was marked by his unwavering commitment to preserving traditional Catholic values and combating the challenges posed by modernity. He passed away on August 20, 1914, just as World War I was beginning. His legacy endures through his contributions to liturgical reform, defense of church doctrine, and dedication to social justice. In 1954, he was canonized as a saint by Pope Pius XII, and his teachings continue to inspire Catholics worldwide. For more information about every saints and their feast day, please like and subscribe to our channel, House of Prayers for Everyone.